Thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to show you how I built this rocket stove. I'm going to show you step by step, from start to finish, how exactly I built this. So, if you haven't already, please like the channel and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video. In order to make this rocket stove, I'm going to start off by cutting out all the parts. The main body of the rocket stove, I'm going to use 3 16 inch steel. I'm going to use the CNC machine I built. If you have not seen that video, I will leave a link above. The original design was called Sunburst and it was made by Jim Beebler. I am making this rocket stove for a friend of mine. He goes camping with his son quite a bit and this will be quite useful on their trips. The reason I went with 3 16th inch steel is because I wanted something stable. So when my buddy is using this, that it would be stable enough to hold a pot of water or whatever he's cooking. After all the parts are all cut out, next thing to do is clean up all the parts. I used a combination of a flap disc, a cutting wheel, and a chisel to clean up the slag and also to clean up all the parts. I didn't use the CNC machine to cut out all the parts because I had a bunch of scrap steel laying around. In order to cut out these parts, I used my Yes Welder Cut 65 DS. What I'm using as a straight edge is I have a steel ruler and I used magnetic self-adhesive strips that I place on the back of the ruler. What I'm doing right now is trying to create bend lines. Cutting in these bend lines allows you to line up and make precise bends so you can meet up with the angles you need. So that's exactly what I needed to do here to fit the rocket stove. Now that I have everything cut out, next thing to do is line up, tack everything in place. What I have here is the inside vent. I'm using a combination square to line up this vent exactly where I need it. Once I'm happy, I'm gonna stitch weld it permanently in place. The welder I'm using today is the Yeswater MIG 250 Pro. Once again, using the combination square, I'm going to set this next piece in place. What this piece does is allows airflow under the wood that you're going to feed into the fire. When I'm happy with my measurements, and then I'll lay down one inch beads to hold it permanently in place. This next piece is the bottom front. Bend lines were also cut in the bottom to make the bend for this. If you notice on the bottom, there's a gap. This will leave room for an ashtray. So once I line it up, I'm gonna tack it in place. For all the outside pieces, I'm only gonna tack it in place. I'm gonna wait to the end to fully weld it. This is so if I wanna make changes or I'm not happy how it's positioned, it's easy to cut out, reposition it, then weld it at the end. This next piece is the piece I showed you where I cut the bend lines. The angle was so severe that it made the joint weak, so I decided to put it in as two separate pieces. So I'm lining it up, tack it in place, then I'll take the upper piece, line it up, also tack it in place. If you notice, this piece is taller than the rest of the unit. So I'm going to use the Cut 65 DS and I'm going to cut it flush so it matches up perfectly. For the whole body, the last piece to put in is the bottom base. So I line it up. Once I'm happy, 
I'm going to stitch weld it. With everything in place, next thing to do is fully weld up the whole entire piece. I like to use a wire wheel on my drill to clean up some of the welds. As always, if you have a question about today's project, about the tools used today, if you have an idea about a future build that you would like to see, or any other suggestion, please let me know in the comments below. For the ashtray, I cut it out of 8th inch steel. I used a CNC machine and I used a file in the original plan from Jim Beaver. There was quite a bit of sanding that had to be done to make sure that this ashtray would fit perfectly inside the body. Now that the ashtray fits perfectly, it's time to clean up the piece, get it ready for welding. For the top grate, it's a crisscross pattern. I just had to make sure it was flush and level, and then it's welded in place. With the grate welded in place, next thing to do is weld up the ashtray. With everything welded up, I cleaned up the project. I also used acetone to clean up the, all the metal, and then I painted it with a high heat resistant paint and I did multiple coats. So there you have it. The rocket stove is complete. It works incredible. I'm completely happy with this build. I hope my buddy loves it. So if you haven't already, please like the channel and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.